Yo, what's happening everybody? Hope you're all keeping well. Guess what? We got another episode of What's New with DJ Sammy J. So, Sammy, do you want to take over and talk to us about the releases? I do like to take over. That is, uh, that is what I do, apparently. So, yeah, I just love coming here and uh, talking about new music that, you know, has just come out recently and you might not have heard of it. So make sure you check all these releases out. They are top quality. First one I want to talk about, oh, by the way, I'm doing six this week. I'm not even going to ask anymore. <laughs> just, it's just Christmas. That's my gift. Yeah, just, just <laughs> you know? do what you I'm doing do. it. I'm doing it. It's your show. It is. So um, first one, King's Castle. Um, if you don't know about these guys, definitely get to know them. They are identical twin brothers. Very, very talented rap producing. Um, they've got an EP out called En Route. Uh, came out in November and just didn't want to miss this one. It's, it's really, really good. Like Their lyrics are good. They've got amazing features. You know, they, they've got singers on it as well. Um, Mars Faye is a really good singer, if you haven't heard of her. She's on a couple of tracks. Um, they've got features from Paradox, uh, feature from Kashmir. Yeah, they've got just everything you need for a really good EP. Um, saw them live recently as well. Um, absolutely amazing. Definitely recommend getting to see them live in the, in the new year if you haven't done that already. Um, so that's the first one. Um, you need and to get them on here as well. I was, gonna, I was just literally about to say that. Yes. Uh, yo, if you're watching this, King's Castle would be great to get you on the show. So yeah, if you can, reach out, please. We need to get that to happen, definitely. So another one I've been itching to talk about, because my show's on HFM. <laughs> um, Montana the Menace. I don't uh, know nothing about that guy. You know nothing about that guy. So um, he has got a new album out, The Miserable Git Next Door. Love the title. Absolutely love the title. His um, lyrics are always wacky as well, isn't it? It's, it's kind brilliant. Of it's brilliant. Really. He's very, very entertaining. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's it's definitely, definitely worth checking out. He's got some really big, like, US features on it as well. And UK like ones. Rex, Guilty Simpson. And the UK ones are sick. Skinny Man, you know, is on there. And... I think, I think someone I know might be on there. Someone in this room might be on there. Nick the cameraman. Nick the cameraman. No, <laughs> Nick. <laughs> so if you haven't heard the track About Love, it is an absolutely massive posse cut. Uh, featuring Blade, many, many other people. Please don't make me name every single one of them. But yeah, is big. Seriously, seriously, um, check out the album. There's production on there from G-Man, aka Dexterra. There's um, production from Redmaster. You know, there's there's lots to uh, you know to check out on that. So I would absolutely recommend it. There's a brilliant song about being a teacher, which uh, I thought was very uh, very interesting. Um, yeah, I can thoroughly recommend this a thousand percent. I love the way he just gathers everybody together to, mm. to get together and be a part of something. It's not just about him and his friends and whatever. He's just reaching out to anyone who he rates, who he respects, and just, you know, it's all about the end product being as good as it can be. Yeah, I mean, so, how yeah. many MCs are on that track? I don't even know. I should have counted, but there's a, there is a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they're all good and they all bring something different. So, yeah. you know, anything ranging from Slippy Skills to Genesis Elijah, Phoenix to Ice Fire, yourself, you know, there's a lot of people on it. That's yeah, all I'm saying. Yeah, so um, I'll leave the rest for you to find out. <laughs> go and listen to it. So that is out now. You can get that. Go and uh, go listen. Seriously, support real raw UK music. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So another one has uh, just come out as well, Mottman and Michael Parkinson. Uh, the fourth quarter album is out now. Um, these two just work amazingly well together. Parky works with a lot of people really well together. Well, yeah, Parky's just amazing. So <laughs> yeah. that kind of goes without saying. But yeah, they they obviously enjoy working together because they've you know, done four projects now. Um, this one, I mean, the features are insane. I mean, obviously that's not just what makes it happen, but this one works. Um, we've got the guys from Rap Exchange on there, um, Sublingual, um, we've got K.O., um, who's hilarious, I've interviewed him before, he's brilliant. Um, who else have we got in here? Ray Vendetta, Phoenix the Ice Fire, uh, Kashmir, it's just Ragazulu Rebel as well. Uh, he works very well with Mottman, they've done their own you know, EPs and stuff in the past, so... Yeah, definitely, definitely check that out. It's available digitally now. Um, there are physical things coming in the new year. 
um, and it's going on uh, Bandcamp. Apparently, I've been promised the next Bandcamp Friday uh, is going on Bandcamp, but at the okay. moment, you can stream it, you can buy it on other uh, platforms and everything. So, uh, yeah, go and support a bit of, a bit of Bristol hip-hop. Go on, Motman. There you go. And uh, just so you know, we recently had Motman in the studio as yes. well, so make sure you check that out. By the time this goes out, hoping that his performance is going to be live as well. So make sure you check that out, Mopman. What have we got next? What have we got next? Uh, I want to talk about Kaners, who I know you've had um, on the channel recently as well. Yep. Uh, been in the game a long time. And he's doing big things for Youngers as well, you know, with his K-Star label. So I, I don't think he gets enough credit for what no. he does. And that, that baffles me because, mm. like, you know, like I've always said, if we all kind of pull together and we push together and whatever direction that we have to go, like so many of us could achieve so much more. And when I done the sofa chat with him, everything just got opened up where mm. it started becoming obvious that, I mean, we all knew there's issues in the scene, like with, with supporting each other, but talking to Kane has just kind of highlighted that really, you know, so guys, uh, we could achieve so much more if we all pulled in the same direction. And uh, Kane, is, Kane is just one of those guys who's putting the work in, his work ethic is crazy. Absolutely, yeah, check out the uh, K-Star mixtape. I mean, it's called the K-Star mixtape, it's actually an album. Um, he's done a track with Skinny Man, um, produced by Sick Floor, who I believe I've mentioned before, absolutely mega talented producer. Um, so that opens up the uh, the album, definitely check that out. There's tracks from some of the younger artists like um, JM, uh, who's on the K-Star label, who I've interviewed on my HFM show. He's a very talented uh, up-and-coming younger artist. Um, there's a, a singer called Britney, very talented as well. There's a remix of Kana's classic Messi with uh, Cardinal Official as well. So that is an absolute banger. Like, you can't not like that tune, basically. So, yeah, big up Kana's and, you know, big him up for everything he's doing with the, with the K-Star movement. Right, we've got more to talk about. Uh, where are we going now? Okay, okay. DJ Maintain. Big up DJ Maintain. Itch fam. I'm not biased. <laughs> Once you itch fam, you itch fam for life. But yeah, DJ Maintain has come out with an EP with Bad Effects from uh, Omniverses. It's called Maintain It Effects. Love the title. Um, and just check it out. Like It started off as just like a beat tape and then it got Bad Effects <laughs> verses all over it. And yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. It's out on all platforms, 9th of December. So make sure you go and check that one out. Thoroughly recommend it. A very, very talented um, DJ Maintain. He's a talented DJ. He's turned his hand to producing and he's doing big things with it. Watch out for this one, you know? You might have heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> and the last one, because I'm squeezing in the last one. This is an interesting one. Um, I love the title as well, Four Eyes, Three Tongues. Um, so a producer, uh, Marky Four Eyes, um, has done an EP with some of the Northern Structure guys, uh, Gold on the Mixer affiliated. So we've got Jeru, Amos and Evolution. Um, it's really, really good. <laughs> it's coming out on the 9th of December as well on the Northern Structure Bandcamp and all the streaming platforms and everything. Make sure you check it out. Um, so it's produced by Marky Four Eyes, except a couple of the tracks are produced by Kashmir. Always a good look. He's terribly underrated on production. I will, uh, I will say that with my chest. He's a very, very good producer, but everyone just wants him to rap, which I can also understand. Yeah, and uh, and he does rap on it as well. There's a there is an amazing kind of posse cut with um, all the Northern Structure guys, also Receptor Records people. So there's uh, Baron, King Lats, Kashmir, and King Kakarot as well. So definitely, definitely check that one out, produced by Kashmir. Um, and yeah, the whole EP is just absolutely, yeah, it came up as a little surprise one, you know, big up, big up Jeru for getting in touch and everything. But um, don't sleep on the Northern hip hop, that's all I'm saying. You know, they're, they're doing big things up there in, uh, in the Northern parts of the country. You just the whole of the UK is really, really, you know, we've got the Southern stuff, we've got Wales, we've got Bristol, you know, we've got the Northern stuff. And of course, London's always been doing its thing. So it's a, the scene's in a really healthy place. And uh, yeah. does, does it kind of feel to you like it's starting to grow in the right direction now? Absolutely. Like, I can't have a quiet weekend these days. I'm out every that's, weekend. That's a thing, but, it's a good thing. But <laughs> what, what do we need to do to take it from online to make it more visible to everybody? I think there's a struggle to get it on kind of mainstream platforms because of like you know, the, the sometimes the subject matter, sometimes the lyricism, it's just, you know, people don't think it's for everyday people. The people putting it out there, the, the, the gatekeepers as such, I think. And it is, you, so know. Do you know. So do you know the answer to that? 
Do you? <laughs> yeah, I do. I'll take your, I'll take your wisdom. I'll okay. Take your wisdom. We become the gatekeepers. Mm. That's what we do. If they're not going to let us in, we break them doors down and we get in. And then we create these opportunities for everybody that deserves the opportunities because there's a hell of a lot of people that deserve it. And this has always been a problem with the music industry, not just for us in the UK, worldwide. There's a lot of people that are putting messages out that are really good, but they don't want to hear those messages. They prefer negativity and nonsense because mm. it's easier to sell and it's easier to market. That is a, that is a good point. But yeah, it is, it is noticeable that it's, you know, stuff promoting a certain a certain image that's getting out there. But yeah, I'm all for I'm all for breaking the door down. Yeah, let's break these doors <laughs> Keep down. Keep pushing, break the doors down. Let's yeah. do it. That's that's the message for the new year. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> do you want to uh, mention your show on HFM? Of course, yes. Good idea. If if um if you like what you're hearing, check out these releases. I play stuff like this every Saturday, eight till ten p.m. on the Big Bad Itch FM supporting Real Raw UK. As it's coming to the end of the year, do you want to shout out some of the other DJs on HFM doing the same as what you're doing? I want to shout out all the DJs. A shout out. Well, that <laughs> was a bit of a cop out, wasn't no, it? No, no, well, right. <laughs> management. I want to shout out management and uh, and the technical wizardry that goes on behind the scenes, keeping it all going. We love you. Um, yeah, I want to shout out all the DJs. Hip Hop back in the day doing big things. Um, you know, Kishmeister, another DJ that really represents for UK and all across the board, across the world. Uh, Thad Boogie, again, trying to represent for everybody, playing that underground music. The Trackside Burners, um, DJ Hunter, you know, there's just so many people. Shout out the ladies of HFM as well, the Millennial Coach and uh, Taylor Dash. So, yeah, I, I hope I haven't forgotten anyone. This is embarrassing, I probably have. <laughs> probably under pressure. Uh, Tony Rosie, nearly forgot Tony Rosie, but he's new. So, <laughs> but he's a very, very talented DJ. Um, but yeah, big up the team, because we've got, you know, an amazing team at the moment, and I'm very proud to be part of it, just like I'm proud to be part of your amazing team as well. Any final words? Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wicked. All right, guys, so there you have it. This is uh, another episode of What's New with DJ Sammy J. Um, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the bell to receive the notifications, like, share, and get involved in the comment section below, and look out for more episodes coming real soon. All right, take care. If we don't see you before Christmas, have a good one. All the best for the new year, and we'll see you on the other side. Peace.